Hey, what's the population of United States? The population of the United States was estimated to be over 331 million people. Hey guys, in this video I will show you a uh, mm, demo about uh, how to create the uh, how to use the OpenAI real-time API with uh, React Native. So I already created a whole bunch of video about uh, how to use uh, uh, OpenAI real-time API. Uh, some of them talk about uh, use the WebRTC. Some of them talk about uh, use the um, WebSocket. But this one is the first one we talked about uh, how to use the React Native uh, for this purpose. Right now we are using the uh, Web, uh, not WebSocket. We are using the WebRTC. So let's start with uh, uh, the, the code. Okay. So first of all, we will um, we need to uh, uh, set up the WebRTC uh, Stun server. Uh, I don't think this is have to do this. You could uh, use the default one if you don't specify this one, uh, which also should work. Uh, okay. Let's start from over here. So this one talk about uh, how to. Uh, set up the permission for the microphone so it will pop up post, uh, the prompt ask you uh, okay we need to uh, uh, use the microphone uh, permission so that's all about the uh, Android device for the permission and um, like the most uh, uh, application like the most uh, the most uh, uh, Android application and the WebRTC application so here is the main uh, stuff we need to do. The first one we need to get the secret key. The secret key is the actually this is a WebRTC, not WebSocket. Yeah, um, we need to get the uh, the secret key. So to get the secret key, we just uh, uh, request the OpenAI uh, API. Here is how we uh, request the OpenAI API. We just uh, need to specify the OpenAI key and uh, the URL. Then we could say, "Oh, we use this. Uh, uh, we use this uh, uh, model." So after that, we just send the post uh, request. We get the key. Uh, this code supposed to be on the server side. If you have the backend, you could put this code to your server side. Ask your server side. Uh, no matter it's Python or Java or .NET. Use this code to uh, request uh, the uh, session session key, uh, kind of like a token. Uh, I don't want you use your uh, API key in your client side. You you'd better put this to the server side, so no one know your uh, API key. You just uh, release, just uh, send the uh, secret key back to your client side, and the secret key only have like twenty four hours. Uh, um, available time, it will uh auto expire after twenty four hours, something like that. Uh, so this this is the first thing we need to do. We need to uh carry the API the secret key, and then we need to uh initialize the uh P two P uh connection. Here is how we initialize the P two P connection. Uh, set up the local audio which track you want to use. Uh, if you have multiple uh, multiple uh, audio uh, device, it will ask you which one you will use. So this is how we set up the uh, local audio. It's pretty much the same as most of the WebRTC application. Just to set up the set up the local audio and uh, uh, create the channel, set the peer connection, uh, set the here we set the peer connection. Uh, just use the uh, uh, existing uh, method to do that. Uh, next one, I think the most important one is here. We create the SDP. SDP, we have two SDP. One is the local, another one is the uh, remote one. This one is create the SDP offer. This one is set up the local uh, SDP, the session description protocol. So here we set up the local description, the local SDP. This one is a remote SDP. Remote SDP, we, I think before number six, most of them just uh, the regular uh, 
WebRTC uh, workflow, but the uh, I mean number two to number six uh, talk about the uh, regular stuff. Uh, this one is a different one. This one is talk about uh, how to um, collect, uh, how to request uh, the STP from OpenAI server. So we use this one. We send the S STP, send the stuff to the SDP. Actually, we should call this request the SDP or set up the SDP. So we request, uh, we use the uh, client secret, which is uh, something like a token. So we use this one and uh, this URL to generate, uh, to request the uh, remote SDP. Remote SDP is something like the uh, network information. So we request uh, OpenAI, what's your uh, IP address, what's your network information, what's your firewall co configuration, what firewall setup, a uh, whole bunch of stuff like that. But before that, I need, we also need to provide our uh, local uh, SDP, local, uh, provide the offer. So here is how we request uh, the STP from the OpenAI server. After that, uh, after that, it's pretty will be pretty simple. So we don't need to do anything because once we this once this two uh, property get set up, one is the uh, uh, local STP, another one is the remote STP. Once this two get set up, it will automatically gener uh, create the um, create the uh, collection. So here how is get working. Uh, next thing we need to talk about, don't worry about the disconnect. That's just a button over there. You could disconnect that one. Uh, another one we need to uh, sign up, uh, set up some uh, event. Here is the event. Like once we got some, um, once we got some uh, transcription done uh, event, you need to take a look at the open AI uh, protocol. They talk about um, all of this event. So like this event, if we, if it's, uh, uh, let me show you something. Like I display over here, that means if I got something from OpenAI, I just put the text over here. So also if you want to function call, you want to do the function call, you also need to uh, do something over here. Mm, like uh, check the response. If the response say, okay, this is a fun uh, function call, so you need to do something over here. I think the same code, since all of these are JavaScript or TypeScript code, uh, I have some, I have another video, I have uh, some different video talk about uh, how to set up the uh, function call. Basically they are the same, so I don't put this uh, to this project. This project only talk about uh, how to use the React Native connected with the um, OpenAI real-time API with WebRTC. So if you want to take a look at uh, the mm, how to set up the function call, you can take a look at another video. Uh, okay, so this is the button about the about the disconnect and the connect uh, some style. So we only have like uh, three hundred uh, line of code which could uh, could implement all of this thing. I already have this installed on my uh, device, on my Android device. I generate an APK file and install this on over here. I put the source code to the uh, GitHub, so you guys could uh, download this one. After you download this one, make sure you put your own uh, API key, then you can compile this and uh, run the, uh, I have the instruction over here. You could uh, run this on your uh, simulator. Uh, simulator may not work because this need to uh, use uh, your uh, audio and the uh, speaker. So you'd better have a real device connected to your uh, PC and then you can debug that to your uh, Android device or you could uh, uh, like mm, like what I do. I just build a uh, APK. Once I build, I just uh, build the APK. Once I build the APK, I put the APK to the uh, to the Android device and then install that. So okay, let me show you what it looks like. How it's get working. Let's close 
this one. Let's see. Let's click the uh, connect button. Hey, what's the population of United States? As of my last update in October 2023, the population of the United States was estimated to be Let's around see. three. Okay, that's pretty much all for uh, this video. If you guys have uh, more questions, please let me know. Um, I'm also working on another um, um, demo, which about the uh, Flutter. Use the Flutter you with the uh, OpenAI WebRTC. So I, it's very close. I probably will post that uh, next week. Thank you. Bye.